In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made through Him, and with Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness. God had a message, but He needed a messenger. He had a lamp, but He needed a lampstand. He had a story, but He needed a teller. So God made a preacher. Nothing fancy, eloquent, or out of the ordinary, but rather a humble vessel, willing to testify of that which they had seen and heard. One who would count in all joy when faced with trials, tribulation, and testing. One willing to obey his command and go into all the world, yes, all the world, and preach the gospel. From the prairies of Oklahoma to the bushes of Africa, from the rice fields of Asia to the mountains of Montana, one willing to sweat, to serve, to sacrifice for the sake of the message. One who could pull a congregation and push a lawnmower, who could fill hearts and empty trash cans, one with callous knees but a soft heart, who could tear down and could build, who could plant and plow, who could heal and could feel. He needed someone who would say yes. So God made a preacher. He needed a provider and a promise keeper, a shepherd and a servant, a teacher and a preacher, a hand and a heart. So he made a preacher. He needed someone who could punch the clock, meet the board, and still watch their son cross home plate. One who could reach the farmer and the pharmacist, the banker and the bum, the addict and the attorney. One who could cast a vision and cast a pole. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? So God made a preacher. Since 1919, we at the Pentecostal Church of God have done our part to answer that simple call. And today, servants of the Pentecostal Church of God, we celebrate you. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news.